Well, Tom, it's another three points, and I'm sure that's what the, the dressing room's looking at, isn't it? But again, another comeback win looks a bit special, isn't it? Yeah, they're always special when you come back from two goals. Um, frustrating at half time. Uh, I thought we'd play well, to be fair. Um, just obviously two, uh, two goals that we shouldn't have really conceded. Um, but then again, obviously, we go. Um, going the, um, to our fans in the second half, we always got goals in that end, so we believe ourselves uh, at half time and then uh, we got the three. You had the one cleared off the line before they scored as well, and that was a close opportunity, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, Dobbs uh, had a chance, I think rebound to him. Um, Coco had a chance, back stick, got cleared off the line again. It was just the same as last week, really. Um, I thought it was going to be one of them days again, but obviously I believe in the squad. Um, obviously all the quality we've got, um, and we got we do, uh, got the job done. Obviously going 2-0 down doesn't help, of course, but uh, could you sense something going forward despite being 2-0 down to, to, you know, to reflect on those comeback victories earlier in the season? Yeah, definitely. We've, we've done it throughout the season. Obviously we've, um, we've done it um, quite a lot this season where we've come from behind to win games and... Like I said before, I believe in, in our squad, uh, the coaches, uh, and obviously the fans keep pushing us at every single every single minute. Uh, when we got that first goal, uh, we was always going to get a second and the third, and, uh, and just over the moon we got three points. Yeah, talk us through your goal as well. I mean, it came into a good path for you, didn't it? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, in the first half, um, I was getting in, in the box probably a bit too early, um, and then um, obviously we spoke at half time just to try and. Um, Try and time your run a bit, bit more. Um, stay off the game a little bit, uh, and obviously he's come in my path, and uh, I slotted the bank one. And how important was it then to equalise moments later as well, wasn't it, for Mike Goldberg? Yeah, it was massive. Obviously, when we got that second, we knew we were going to get that third. And um, obviously, you see me the celebrations, and when we got the third, we just, we just we a great a bunch of lads, great bunch of lads, and. Um, uh, everyone wants the same thing, and uh, that's massive for us. What was it like to lead the side today? Yeah, definitely. It's always nice to get uh, to obviously, obviously the gaffer's got the faith in me to, to lead the side, and um, uh, obviously I enjoyed it. And um, obviously I thought I did a good job doing it, and then we'll see what happens. Seven points clear now, still again with two games in hand as well, and it's just about keeping that momentum going, is it? Yeah, definitely. We just keep keep winning, keep ticking the uh, the games off uh, as much as we can, getting them three points, and then obviously we've got a big month coming up, January uh, games left, right, and centre. So we just got to uh, keep keep winning. Obviously, everyone's chasing us, so as long as we keep winning, no one's going to catch us. Looking forward to next week, of course, against Watford. You've played in the AFL Championship before. Is there anything that you can do in the dressing room to lead to the side as well? As some of the younger players who haven't played, uh, you know, at a, a ground like Vicarage Road. Well, yeah, Josh, I've got experience. Obviously, I've been there a few, played there a few times. Um, obviously, it's a tough place to go because obviously the Watford are a great side, Premiership side. So uh, we're just going to go there, enjoy it. Um, obviously, play the way we play. Um, obviously, we deserve to be in that um, into the, into the round, and um, obviously, we're going to go there and win it. I'm not in there for no reason. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go, uh, go there and try and get into the uh, second round. And they're backed by four thousand fans as well. You know, they make some noise behind that goal, won't they? Uh, yeah. On Saturday. Yeah, definitely. You've seen it throughout the season. Follows up and down the country, which is massive, and uh, I'm sure they'll be there in numbers and um, try and get them as a um, try and get them to be a, have a good afternoon for them and um, try and get the um, try and get the, get the win.